I know how hard it can be to catch a specific fish before the month ends and how annoying it is to craft fish bait upon fish bait only to never catch the fish. With this trick, you'll be able to catch any fish you want with only 10 fish bait and it'll be super easy. It is a game changer. What's up guys, it's Dusty, one half of Our Radiant Gaming, and today we're going to talk about just that, how to catch specific fish in Animal Crossing before the month ends, and how to do it easily. Here's how. So the first thing you're going to have to do is get 10 to 15 fish bait. I only use 10 fish bait, and you're going to see why here in a minute. Obviously, getting fish bait is acquired by digging manila clams up on the beach and then crafting them into fish bait at a workbench. And before you do anything else, make sure you know what shadow size the fish you were looking for is. In this video, we're looking for a sturgeon, and we know that its shadow size is extra large. Once you've done that, head to the area where your fish is located. Like I said, we're going for the sturgeon, and the sturgeon is located at the river mouth. And once you're there, don't do anything but wait for the blue autosave icon at the top right hand corner of your screen. This is super important. And once you see that autosave icon, throw in your fish bait. If the shadow size that you see is not the shadow size that you need, throw in another fish bait. If that was not it, throw in another fish bait. Keep doing this until you've used all your fish bait. Or obviously until the shadow size that you need does appear and then you try to catch the fish that you're looking for. And then if you throw in all your fish bait and you do not get the shadow size that you need, then soft reset your game. This just means immediately going to the home screen, closing out the Animal Crossing application, and then reopening it back up. Pokemon Shiny Hunters, where are you at? Also, remember that autosave icon we seen and we waited before it popped up to throw in our fish bait? This is why it's so important. Animal Crossing New Horizons autosaves every three minutes. You want to make sure that if you do not see the shadow size you're looking for, you throw in all your fish bait or try to catch the fish you're looking for in that three minute span before you soft reset your game, or you will have to get more manila clams and craft more fish bait. And we know how annoying that is. With that in mind, know that every single present, bug, or fish you catch in that three minute span, if you do not get the fish you're looking for and you do decide to soft reset, will be for nothing. They do not save with you as the game just restarts where the previous auto save icon popped up. That's why before we started throwing in our fish bait, we waited for the auto save icon to pop up. That way when we soft reset our game and we open it back up, we still have those 10 fish bait. That's personally why I only use 10 fish bait instead of the up to 15 that I recommend because I like staying around the two minutes out of that three minute auto save feature just in case. And trying to catch some of these fish, there are other fish that could pop up with that shadow size. So like if you're trying to look for something specific and you just keep catching black bass, you wanna make sure that you do all that before the three minutes is up. And then of course, once your game opens back up after you do the soft reset, you throw in your fish bait, your shadow size pops up, you throw in your line, you catch the fish you want, that's all you have to do. Of course, you wait for the next autosave icon to pop up, go donate to the museum so you don't lose it, and that's all there is to it. This is so much easier than endlessly crafting fish bait. I hate doing that, that's my least favorite part of the entire game. And this will be a game changer, I promise. This is also a great tactic if you're like me and my wife and restarted your island and don't have all these rare fish that you need. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, drop them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you guys so much for watching this video again. Everyone have an awesome day. God bless. This is one half of Our Radiant Gaming signing off.